Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. We are on now part 11 of my coloring book collection and completed pictures. Starting with this video on through the rest of the series, it is going to be all color by number books. Or I do have quite a few of just one color books, but they're all in my bookcases with the color by number books. So we're going to cover both of those. So um, I have a few stacks over here of um, a couple of different companies. We'll see if we get through all of them. And if so, I'll pause and I'll go get some more. So let's start off with Belba family, of course. Now these books are in no particular order. Um, I'm going to start with the smaller ones. These are their square mandalas books. Um, this is the one I believe I finished. This is volume one. And I believe I did do a video of this completed book. But for the sake of this video and for those of you who didn't see that, I will go ahead and flip through this all the completed pages and as you can see I always do the X method or cross stitch method in these books I absolutely love it I love that one um, yeah it is just my favorite to me personally it is just so much more fun than coloring them in solid and I know that it's not for everyone. I know some do like coloring it in solid or doing a combination. Some will do the pattern in cross stitch and then the background solid and that looks neat too. That one I really like too. So I do have one of these books completed and the next book I'm going to show is pretty close to being completed. It is on my list of my 10 books to complete in 2021. So that book should be doable. This is from the front cover. Okay, so that is that one. The next one is Square Mandala's Animals in Patterns. I love this book. This is volume two because I don't like looking at the, you'll notice the answers were in the front, but as I'm doing it, I like to try to figure out what animal is in the center. <laughs> sometimes you can figure them out. That's on the front cover. And sometimes it takes me a while to figure it out. I love the colors in that. Like that one took me a while to realize it was a dolphin. But yeah, the colors are so pretty. I love their color palettes in these books. The cat on the moon. I thought that was neat too. Our hummingbird. That's a cool one too. They're all cool. <laughs> yeah, I just... Oh. Love, love, love these books. Every time they come out with a new 3x3 three three millimeter square coloring book, I'm just like, oh yes. And I will be getting their brand new one tomorrow. And then this is what I have left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six left to do in that book. So another one is Party Patterns, and I did do a few in this one. Cute Christmas one, birthday, not quite sure. <laughs> so all different kinds of parties or festive occasions I should say. That one I did try coloring in solid and yeah I definitely prefer <laughs> my uh, cross stitch method. 
or we're coloring them in solid. So that's what I got done in that one. Then another one that came out more recently is the Happiness Square Mandalas. So I only did get a couple done in here. That one. And that one. Are these palettes pretty? Love them. That one I actually did in uh, Glitter Gel Pen. <laughs> I know, what a shock. So that's what I got done in there. Then one that is so dear to my heart is Lisa's Garden. <laughs> this one you see is on ivory paper. But I did get quite a few done in here. So pretty. Isn't that cute? So yeah, got quite a few done in here too. This is another book I definitely want to complete. There are some quotes in here as you can see. That one I like too. And that is it in that one. So that's all of the smaller books. Then we get to the full size books. This is the three colors series. First one they came out with was Celebrities. And if you're not familiar with these books, kind of is like Corkles where you pick out your own five colors from darkest to lightest, five being, or one being the darkest, which always screws me up. I always think of one being the lightest, five being the darkest, so yeah. Um, in here you pick three colors from lightest to darkest so it's the opposite of quirkles number one is the lightest three is your midtone three is your darkest color so they do kind of give you some suggestions on the back kind of shows you different ways that they'll turn out so I did this one so it's really fun coming up with your own three colors this one I screwed up. I did it in glitter gel pen because you can pick just three colors, right? Started going across with the pink. Realized I was across his nose already and that shouldn't have been that number. Number two, it should have been number one. <laughs> but I had to keep going because, yeah, couldn't stop then. So, yeah, looks a little funny. Another one in glitter gel pen. Love my purples, glitter gel pen. And that's all in the celebrities book. Then the next one they came out with is animals and birds. So I can't wait to see what they come out with next in this series. Love, love, love how that one came out with my pink, purple, and dark blue. My duck. Ain't he cute? <laughs> this I started as a color and chat on the channel and finished it offline, offline, off screen. Okay, let me get down to the other ones before I get to those. Okay, then we have the whole Mystery Mosaics series, which is more of their three by three millimeter squares. Yeah, love these books. So this one is called An or Arion's Vintage Collection. So it's all old time type things like our rotary phones. The older bathing suits and caps, the old boom box and roller skates, <laughs> and that's all I got done in that one. This is one I really like flowers, 
I got quite a few done in here. These, of course, do take a little bit longer than the small square mandala books because they are full size. But that's okay with me. Again, always doing my X method. That's from the cover. And that's what I got done in that book. Doesn't pay to flip through the rest of the book because you can't see the pictures anyhow. <laughs> one of the first, if not the first book, is this one called Passion. So that's why I said these are in no particular order. Your contents always gives you um, what that picture is about if you do want to look at that. It's from the front cover. You can see they've since changed how their color palette is since these very first books. That one, the motorcycle. That's one I love. I think that's so pretty. race car and that's what I got done in there then another one of their earlier ones is called dogs so I got a few done in here here's another one I tried early on coloring in solid and yeah, it turned out, but I still, <laughs> I definitely still like the cross stitch method better. Boy, I didn't get much done in that one. They keep coming out with new ones, that's why. And then one called Woman. No, they don't have one called Men. Hmm, how sexist, huh? <laughs> uh. But see, there is a man in here. <laughs> I like that one. Them fall trees, pretty. I like the colors in them. That one I love too. Reminds me of Cinderella. This dress is just gorgeous. Riding a motorcycle. So I did quite a few in here. Oh, this one goes this way too. Getting a facial. <laughs> and uh, that's all in uh, that one. Another one of their earlier ones is called Gallery. This is the most expensive masterpieces in the world. And I do not know my art that well. So unless it's a very famous painting, I wouldn't know it. Color the frame. The color of the frame is up to you as you are the owner of this gallery. So, and I didn't do it in these. I didn't realize that it said that in there um, before I did the flip and started coloring in here. So I didn't color these in but I thought using like metallic colors metallic gold or silver or you know like metallic metallic gel pens or something would be really pretty on these so again a lot of these I wouldn't know um, I do recognize of course some of the artists like Picasso but I don't necessarily know the pictures themselves, the paintings. Then we have Cinema, Guess the Movie. This one I do like too. And again, in the front, or on each page, it gives you a clue as to the movie. So of course, this is Gone with the Wind. <laughs> 
And again, some of the movies you may know, some you may not. This one, oh, I think that was my favorite. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I cannot wait till Avatar 2 comes out. It's supposed to have been out for a few years already. I did read up on that, though. They have uh, recorded two, or almost done with three, and then there's going to be five total. But they have to do all the editing, you know, the special effects of it yet. And coronavirus uh, delayed that also. So <laughs> I think it said December of... 2022 or something number two is supposed to be out another fantastic movie and these are all great movies right and that's what i got done in that one then we have one called wow animals and all starts out the same here's from the front cover Love this one with the little ballerina in the back, the background. Okay, I love them all. Birdies standing on each other's backs. <laughs> Sneaky snake with donuts. <laughs> and that's what I did in that one. Then we do have Wow Cats. And as you know, cats are near and dear to my heart. So yes, did a few in here. I have to get this one back out again. Love that one. That is one of my favorites. So far, <laughs> there's a lot to go in this book. With them pretty blue eyes. Now the white kitties, of course, they take up a lot less time to do. <laughs> Love that kitty. Looks like a Persian. I've always wanted a Persian. And a kitty and a doggy. So yeah, got quite a few done in here. I love the colored paw prints. <laughs> of course, I like the background in that one. So yeah, got that book over half done. Then Exotic Life. Oh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the beginner ones. These are the puzzle color by number book uh, series that they came out with. It's called Clever Book Series. These are five by five millimeter sections. This is um, a beginner. They have beginner and they have advanced. The beginner just means that there is no background to do. Advanced is the same level of difficulty, only you do have to do the entire background. So that's what makes it a little bit harder. But the the, how you complete them is the same. If you're not familiar with these books, you get a blank grid with letters and then numbers going for the, the columns and the rows. And then you're given this grid of colors. So peach, we have C3-C4. So you look here, where is C3? three and C4. That's the color that you'll color that square. And you come up with a picture. Isn't that gorgeous? So the first one I did, I did color this in solid. Um, but I know I did do some with just the X method. I have not taken the time to do many of these. They do take a little bit more concentration than your typical color by number because you do have to do some counting. But oh, there's so much fun. So, like I said, that's the beginner version where you don't do the background. This one I really want to get into. I have not colored in it at all. Can you believe it? This is advanced. So, it goes along with, they do, I don't know if I showed it yet or not. Um, well, let's do this one first, as a matter of fact, because it is another beginner. So, again, no background. So we'll do the two beginners. 
And again, though, I did not get anything done. And one of these books, I did do one in the back. No, nope, not this one. Um, but it is following their standard 22 color palette for all their color by number books. It's all the same color palette, which I love. So then, yeah, the advanced is where you do do the backgrounds. Matter of fact, I should put this book on the side. So I do one in here. Well, I know better than to put it on the side because it'll just sit there. <laughs> then Exotic Life Advanced. Now the um, Secret Patterns was tailored after um, their pattern. Uh, what am I trying to say? Is it their, I don't know. Anyhow, here's another one, the advanced, where you do do the backgrounds. So here we have our grid. Here we have the color palette. Now, is this the one I did one in the back? Well, unless I missed it in one of the other ones. Okay, <laughs> then we have, they of course had to come out with a Christmas book. This again is the three by three. Now this is actually a combo book. So we do have the um, the puzzle books like I just showed you. Pages eight through 65 are those puzzle five by five millimeter squares. Then we have the mystery mosaics pages 66 to 89, which is the three by three color by number. Then pages 90 through 101 are from the Christmas and Travel Mosaic books. So in the beginning we have all of the puzzle ones where you figure out what goes where. And I did do this one in the cross stitch method, X method. I think that's all I got done in the front. I did do one of those in the regular book. Oh, here's the cross stitch. I did do a number of, I did do a number of these. Mm, love them. As you can tell, these are still and always will be my favorites. <laughs> I love that one. Santa flying away in the sky. Okay. Then they came out with a new series of books called Stone Mosaic. Again, this is color by number. Again, following their standard 22 color palette. And it just looks like stones that you color in, but it creates a picture. So I don't know if, I don't think I've colored in book one at all. I think I did do, I do want to, this is another series of books I really want to get out. I just haven't had a chance. Then book two, and I did do some in here. Why book two and not book one? I don't know. Oh, that's the only one I got done. Oh, shame on you. Another one I got to get at. Okay, then some of their very first books. Um, and this is kind of what started me on Belba Family. <laughs> I bought these, um, yeah, when they first started. This is Animal Mosaics 24 Classic and Pop Art Pictures. Again, following. Um, it's 22 colors, but in these very, very first ones, the color palette is different than what they are now. Okay, so, so yeah, these are quite different than the books they have out now. And I don't think I did, no. But they do, again, have a table of contents. And then there is Travel Mosaic. So yeah, I don't think I colored in these at all. Nope. Then we have the Christmas and Travel Mosaics. And this 
yeah, this started their standard 22 color palette that they follow now. Yeah, and I did do one or two in here. So some of these pictures are what's in their newest Christmas book that they came out with this past year. I did do this one. I love it. Did it with a water-based marker. It was a dual tip. I remember that. It was a brush tip and a fine liner because I remember, but I'm not sure of the brand. It might be all I did in here. Yep. Then we have Fairies Around Us, Stained Glass and Magic Mosaics. Again, following their standard palette. Another book. Got to get coloring out of. I did, yeah, that one. And uh, that one. And that's it. Then a very different kind of book is called The Money Book. You have two versions of this. One is a color by number and one is a non-color by number. I got the color by number version. Again, follows their standard palette. I don't think I colored out of this. So it's anything and everything to do with money, um, whether it be here, foreign, things that represent money and fortune. So kind of an interesting kind of book. So that is all Belba family, and that took us almost a half an hour right there. Okay, we are going to go on to Color Questopia. And yeah, I just have a few books. <clears throat> okay, now these again are in no particular order whatsoever. Um, the vast majority of the books that I have are all white background with the exception way at the bottom of this stack. I do have maybe a handful of the black background, um, but they no longer send me the black background ones. They know I prefer the white. Um, this one is Chibi Girls. Yes, this is my favorite or one of you always get a sample, you know, bonus images at the back from other books. And I always do these from front to back, and I always outline in silver glitter gel pen before I color them in with alcohol markers. So I do have a few outlined here to color in, but I did get a couple colored in already. This book is adorable. I screwed up on her eye. <laughs> started coloring in the white area and it's like oh darn okay so again that one is chibi girls then we have unicorn i have complete flip throughs of all of these books on my channel in my flip throughs playlist if you are interested in those some of these or a lot of these I did manage to get one done or at least I always try to get one done before I do a flip of them on my channel when I get a new book. Um, so I think most of these should have at least one image done in all of them. This one is creative movie posters. Another really fun one. All different kinds of movies. I got Titanic done, Star Wars, and The Matrix. I use Copics a lot in these books um, due to the fact that they had, they've since changed this very, very recently, but they had a 50 color color palette that was possible across all their books. And they've gone through a number of changes from going with the color colors that are just needed for that particular book to feedback they received, kind of coordinated through me um, of showing all 50 colors that are possible um, and just keeping it standard. And now they changed it and they dwindled their color palette down to only 25 colors. So, and they, they keep the, the colors over here standard the same. So, 
which they didn't used to. So they are making it easier and easier for us. Fairy Magic, another favorite of mine. So I did a number of them in here. These faceless girls kind of drive me silly though. <laughs> you know, when they don't have eyes. I don't know if they were forgotten or what. But yeah, did a number of them in here. That's why I have to get back to coloring those TV girls in. <laughs> It's been on my to-do stack for a while. Here we have Mythical Mermaids. Some of these books are more detailed and some of them are simpler. So I got that one done, that one, that one. Excuse my stomach. If you can hear that, I apologize. Just had lunch a little while ago. Beautiful hummingbirds. I don't know if it didn't like my lunch or what. Another one I love because I love hummingbirds. I take after my mom. She always loved her hummingbirds. So I did a number out of here. And we have Dragon Fantasy. This is one of their more detailed books, as you can see, which I really like at times. Sometimes you want to do something simpler. This one wasn't too bad at all. That's all I got done in there. Then if you don't like freaky looking clowns or you don't like clowns in general, look away. <laughs> we have horror and nighttime creatures. Okay, you can look back now. So all spooky things. This is a great book for Halloween, although they do have dedicated Halloween books too. So I did The Vampire. Annabelle. And here comes a freaky clown. Ah. <laughs> okay, freaky clowns over. <laughs> Cactus and succulent coloring book. So we have all kind of kinds of cacti and succulents. So we did that one and that one. So yeah, Color Questopia is still really pumping out the books. Oh, and they're getting neater and neater. Beach coloring book. Did that one. Doesn't that look relaxing? <laughs> and uh, that one. And we have beautiful pandas. This one is on the simpler side. I love my panda bears. Did that one. And that one. Ain't he cute? <laughs> Penguins. Now, these are some of their earlier books now. Very colorful penguins. And uh, that one. Out on the ice. Cow lovers. It's not too often you see a cow a coloring book dedicated to cows. Really pretty flowers in here though. That one. It's a mama and her baby. Kind of hard to see. And then that one. So yes, very colorful. Significant odder. So I do have all of their books, if uh, you didn't know. <laughs> all the way from the very beginning when I started buying them. We have Shark. Great to color in when it is Shark Week. <laughs> Did that one. And uh, that one. 
we have a llama, some more colorful animals. Did that one. And that one. Country farm scenes. Again, this one's on the more simplistic side, as you can see. Really cute. So I did that one. Candy coloring book. Yum, yum. <laughs> And I did that one. Gnomes. I'm just flipping always past the bonus pictures in the back. Did that one. They're so cute. And that one. Then we have race cars, muscle cars, and classic cars. This could be a good one for a guy or a gal. Again, on a little bit simpler level, not quite so detailed. So I did uh, that one and uh, that one. And for you train lovers, Did one in the front here. Did that one. Calming turtles of land and sea. So for you turtle lovers, <laughs> I know you're out there. Is this the only one I did? Yeah, did that one. Then we have animals. So kind of animals in general. And I did that one. And the giraffe. Yeah, this one took a little bit longer. It's a little more detailed. Fanciful fox. And I did uh, that one. And for you owl lovers, amazing owls. Again, this one is on the simpler side for the most part. And I did that one. Then we have giraffe. This one is a very simple one, except for, you know, the only more detailed part of it is the dots, their spots. But other than that, I mean, yeah, very simple. Horses, I know there's horse lovers out there too. This one is a little more detailed. Did that one. That one, I never finished it. <gasps> hmm. Mm. I did write on here. Yeah, they kind of had the numbers screwed up on this one. And that's why it was a do not finish. Because the colors were wrong. That's right. And that's why I X'd it out. Yeah, that's right. And uh, that one. But again, this is one of their very first books. So that could have been corrected by now. It's the only picture I've ever, ever run into like that, though. Here's Amazing Dogs. I did that cute little guy. And him. We have the Love Pug. Who doesn't love pugs? <laughs> they are so darn cute. This is quite a detailed one. Got that one done. Any cute with a little backpack? <laughs> and him with that big bow tie. And then we have corgis. They're very cute too. Corgi happiness. This one's not quite as detailed as the pugs. <laughs> Did that one. 
and that one. Then one of their more recent ones is Be My Valentine. Again, this one's not as detailed. And I did that cutie pie. <laughs> and you are loved. So this one all has quotes in it. Or many of them do, I should say. I think it's every other one, maybe. Yeah. So I did the first one. Then one of their large print books is Flowers, Birds, and More. So again, it is on the simpler side. Did that one and that one. Of course, they had to put out a Christmas version, a Christmas book. Love this book too. Unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, color in it too much for Christmas. I do have some, a few outlined yet to color in. Sometimes I like just sitting down and doing the outlining, <laughs> but did that one. So yeah, more detail in here. So it takes a while to outline them. Some people don't outline them. You know, but then you have to be more careful when you're coloring in all these areas. And I like how his beard looks with that all colored in. <laughs> okay, we have a camping. Some really cute, cute pictures in here. Look at that. <laughs> Again, some of these are a little on the harder side, but not too bad. I mean, that one wasn't too bad at all. This is where they started listing all 50 colors. But at least it was standardized, right? Here we have their Halloween horror book. Another really cute book. Again, I have some outlined already. And I did that one and that one. Backyard Bugs. Now this one is geared towards kids and toddlers, so this is their easiest one by far out of their whole series. Nice and simple. So if you don't have any of their books and you just want to tackle a nice simple one, go for Backyard Bugs. Because <laughs> yes, it's not super detailed at all. Another one I have outlined. And then I colored in that one. Now the one that some kids might like is the truck coloring book. And this one is for kids ages 4 to 8 and 8 to 12. I don't know why they specify it that way. But we have all kinds of trucks in here. The air is detailed though, so I'm not, not quite sure how a 4-year-old would color in here. But hey. And I didn't get anything colored in that one. Holy cow. I thought I had something colored in every one. <laughs> we have the space coloring book. This is one of their early, early ones too. And I did that one. Another early one is Beautiful Cities and Landmarks. This one isn't too detailed either. Did that one and that one. New York. I know everybody's got that song going through their head right now. <laughs> that one and that one. Dinosaurs. All kinds of dinosaurs. This one's medium difficulty, not too bad. That and that one. Lighthouses. 
Again, medium difficulty. That one and that one. Beautiful ocean. All kinds of fishies. So I did that one. Is that all? Yep. We have a sloth. This one is more detailed. Look at that. All that fur, you know, it takes a while to get around all that fur. So I did the first one. Little baby hanging on to its mama. We have a German Shepherd. Should put this by the other dogs. <laughs> This again, a little more detailed. So I did that one. I have that one outlined. And that one, isn't that cute? Huh? <laughs> Another one that came out with this past winter is called Wonderful Winter. Another kind of detailed one. Oh, is that pretty? Mm. Yeah, this is a really pretty book. And because there's so much snow, some of it you don't even have to color. <laughs> and that one. Another more recent, well, let's go along the Christmas theme. We have Christmas Fantasy. Yeah. So this isn't your typical Christmas. Like here we have a mermaid with a Santa hat and stuff on. So more fantasy Christmas like the name implies. I do have a number of them outlined, just not colored in. That was a detailed one. <laughs> but I did the Christmas dragon. <laughs> and this one, the wizard. Santa Wizard. And then we have another more recent one this past winter called Angels. And I did that one. Loved all these flowers. And that one. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Then we have one that came out last autumn. <laughs> yeah. Dead giveaway. So this would be great for Halloween or Thanksgiving. And I did uh, this one. And that one. Love that purple and orange together. Then we have a witch fantasy, another one that could be used for Halloween. Quite detailed. I have one started that I did not finish. I'm going to have to put this on the side. But I did get her done. Yeah, I'm going to put this one up there. Then um, they did send me, like I said, some black. When they started coming out with the black backgrounds, um, they did send me some. Um, this one is Fantasy Landscapes. And if you're not aware what the black background is, People, they were getting comments. Like I said, Color Questopia is just so responsive to comments and, and suggestions that they get from their customers. A lot of people were saying, I really love the look of these mosaic coloring books, but I don't like coloring on all those lines. Unlike Lisa Gizzi. <laughs> so they came out with a series of books. So sorry, I'm not there yet. Okay. Boy, I'm ahead of myself. I thought this was the black background one. <coughs> Excuse me, because I know I have a black background. Okay, so this is Fantasy Landscapes. I'm ahead of myself. Quite a detailed one, as you can see. This is probably one of their most detailed. I do have a few outlined in here. Didn't get to color one in yet, though. That should be another one I put on the side. 
Then we have National Parks. And this one, again, is quite a detailed one, as you can see. Did I get one colored in there? I did get some outlined. I see that. Nope, got to do that, too. Then we have Fashion. And this one isn't quite as bad. This is a little simpler. I do have some outlined and none colored in. And then the last one in the white background before we do get to the black background is Princess. Um, and oh yeah, another one I love. This is right up there with Chibi. And I just haven't had time to color much in it. I do have some outlined, of course. Didn't I get any colored in, though? Oh, my gosh. Another one to put on the side. Okay. Then, like I said, they did send me a few of their black background versions of these books when they first started doing it. So their very detailed one that i just shown was their National Parks black background. Now, like I said, instead of you having to color in all the lines, they did it for you. So the lines are all in black. So essentially then it is a just a color by number book that has a mosaic look to it, right? So that one is National Parks. Then the black background space coloring book. Again, you have seen the white version, so I'm not going to take too much time on these. The horror one, and I did not color in these black background ones at all. The dragon fantasy, which is a good one to be to have the black background done. Well, I guess it's not black background. It's the, it's the lines colored in, and then they have a black border around because this is a more detailed book. So for those of you who don't like coloring in the lines, it's nice to have one that's done for you. And then finally, the other very detailed one, Fantasy Landscape. So again, nice for those of you who don't like doing the lines, because yeah, this is a very detailed book. And from here on out, they have all their books that they've been coming out with now, all come out in both white and black background. So the only other thing I have to show you from Color Questopia, they do have some mandala books out, believe it or not. So this one is large print deep coloring book. This is manda, mandala meditation. And I don't know if I even got to coloring out of these. You can see they kind of have the mosaic look to them where you do, you can, you don't have to, color in the lines. Oh, I did do that one. Yes, and I used my Divicle Dual Metallic Gel Pen. This one is done in pink to outline. And it looks kind of cool. And that one, again, I used the coordinating color. So it kind of hides it, but yet if you turn it the right way, it kind of shimmers. And then another one along those lines, mandala shape, mandala pattern book. So more of the same. I did that one. Again, used the black, which has the red in it as the line. And this one I just used silver. So I thought it went great with the pastel colors. And the last one is called just Mandala Coloring, Relaxation and Stress Relief. So again, more of the same here. I used the purple that has blue in it and then used coordinating colors. And here I used the yellow, which kind of has orange in it. Or is that orange with maybe some yellow in it? I don't know. Either way. <laughs> then finally, the last couple I'm going to show you, they do have a number of these one color books out there. 
Um, these are spiral books. To me, these are rather difficult to do, and that's why I have not colored out of them, and I haven't gotten any more. They're very, very fine, thin lines and very narrow to color. So I love doing my one color books. You know that. And I love like uh, Spiral Glyphics, um, all of those books. To me, they're not quite as challenging, maybe is the word, as this. I wouldn't be able to use my gel pens in here. You'd have to do it with fine liners. And then, so this one is... Um, Famous Faces, and this one is Famous Places. <laughs> they do give you the answers in the back. So again, just more spirals. And then this one is, I did have to pick this one up, <laughs> Creative Kittens and Cats. I don't think I even did one out of here. Again, they always give you bonus images in the back and your answer key back here. Um, let me see if I did any. I should attempt one out of here anyhow. So, guess what, folks? We are at the end. So, all I got through in this part is Belba Family and Color Questopia. Well, Color Questopia by far is my biggest collection of one publisher. So, that is why it took so long. <laughs> So next time, I think in the next part, we're probably going to get through uh, Sun Life Drawing and Sachin and Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. There's probably only a few parts to go, two or three left, and we'll be done with the series. Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you are enjoying this series. I will always leave links down below to all the previous parts in this series. So starting from the introduction video all the way through, this is part 11, so through part 10 will be listed in the description below. In case you haven't seen prior parts and you don't want to go digging to try to find them, them. The links will always be down below in the description. So thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys. <laughs>